this video will be very detailed so it will be a bit longer because i'm gonna be showing you every aspect of the scrub cap and without cutting out any information I have my fabric folded already for you to get the length and the width of what you will have to cut out before folding it depends on how big or how small you want the cap to be the scrub cap is not too voluminous because it's just something you wear to work it is usually used by the health care workers so um it's not too big it's gonna be small so what we will be using is nine the radius is nine so for you to get what to cut out you have to multiply nine times two so that will give us 18 so the length of what you your, your fabric you're cutting out is will be 18 and the width also will be 18 then you fold it into four you fold it into two then you fold it into four so i have both the satin i'm gonna use to line in it and the main fabric i have it folded already and placed on each other so that i'll be able to cut it together so you place your tape rule at the at the point where it's folded into four you can see not at this point not where it is being cut at this point where it has the fold at this point you place your tape root there the inch side of your tape root then we are using nine for the radius you place it this way you mark you can mark on both sides you make sure make sure your finger doesn't move away from the top then you place it again mark mark from for the both side so that when you're joining your lines together it will be easier for you you place it you mark you place it here you mark it you place it here and you mark then you join the dotted lines together this is the wrong side of the fabric whenever you want to do a cut you make sure you turn it to the wrong side of the fabric so that your chalk or marker will not stay there right side of the fabric then now we can cut out our fabric my scissors is filling the fold because now it's like 16 is like hits fold fabric so it's like it's full so now we have our circle So now we have our circle. What you do is um, the right. This is the right side of the fabric, and this is the wrong side. And for the lining, which is, which I'm using a satin material, so that it will protect the hair. Um, you put the right side of it facing the right side of the fabric, so you can grab your pin. together. 
what you have been and pin it together. So after pinning it together, you fold it into half. Um, just like you want to get um, like a semicircle, you fold it into half. Make sure it's well laid. Fold it into half. You can take your iron and press it if you want to. If you don't want to, you can just use your pin and pin it down. Have our semicycle now we've pressed out the semicircle and now we have a straight line so now we're gonna measure um, three and a half we're gonna measure three and a half inches on the straight line the purpose of this is for us to get a cut at the back of our cap because this cap does not have an elastic it has a bend so we want to have a cut at the back of the you can measure three inches but I'm measuring three and a half so this is where our three and a half is you take a ruler and rule it out that's gonna be our cut you rule out a straight line Take your tape rule and measure half inch away from away from the line, half inch. So we have our line drawn out already. Then we'll be sewing this way. Take your fabric to the machine. Sewing on two point nine, let's say two point eight, two point nine. You can set your machine to whatever settings you want, but I'm sewing on two point nine. So we're gonna sew through. So after that, we cut through the line. Cut it. Then you can cut this length. It's just like notching it. Cut this length. Be careful so that you don't cut the thread. You notch your fabric. Then you turn your fabric. Turn it down with the high end. You have something like this, like a U shape. That's what you have, like a U shape. So now we'll take it to the sewing machine and we'll sew around the circle. So like um, quarter of an inch, you can sew with like quarter of an inch, that will be fine.
after sewing the circle round we put that aside then we'll cut out a band I cut 3 inches wide and 27 long 27 inches long the circumference of my head if you measure your head round about my horn is 23 inches so I left 4 inches allowance apart for the band so we have the band together we put the right side facing each other then you sew sew it together So after sewing it together, at this point, you need to pay a lot of attention so that you won't make mistakes. Um, you remember the cuts we have for the circle? Then we'll make another semi-circle and we'll make sure we get the middle point at the other side. So you take your pin and pin that side together. Or you can just mark it with the chalk instead of pinning it together. When you get your other side for the semicircle, circle, which is this line behind that you remember, so you can just mark it with the chalk. Then you take your band. You take your band. You leave um, two inches. Two inches away. Two inches. So my camera cut off the other time. Um, what I was saying is, you take the satin part of your band, and you take two inches out, the beginning of the circle where we had the cuts. You pin it down then you look for the middle of the band the middle of the band which we have marked here you pin it with the middle of the circle then the band at the other hand also you take two inches out then you pin it you can pick up your pin then take it to your machine make sure your circle is at the top and your band is underneath because it is your circle that you will be pleating and we're going to be sewing like quarter of an inch we will sew for quarter of an inch you can sew less than quarter of an inch anyone that is convenient for you but right now i'm sewing like quarter of an inch at the center of it you take off your pin then you continue the pleating this is this will kind of give you like um a rhyme like a balanced pleat the circle on your band you can pin it down before pleating it or you can just high ball it up and you pleat
after sewing it, this is what we have. You can see the satin is at the satin end. So what we're going to do now is we have to close our sewing. So we take the, the fabric, fold it back. I'm sure you're seeing what I'm doing. almost ready so what we do now is this is what we have you can see, you can see the two inches that we left so what we're gonna do now is you just take this from the hand here you fold like half an inch inside and you take it to your machine and you sew and when you sew you make sure you cover them the other sew line, the hem line that you sewn before. Fold it this way. Fold it this way. Then you sew. You sew it, and then we're gonna put we're gonna put our velcro here. That in that way we'll be able to like pin down our scrub card. For beginners, you just have to keep checking what you're doing while sewing. But for someone that sewed before, you should know what to do to make your sewing so neat and perfect. So after pressing down the cap, this is what we have. This is what we have after pressing down the cap. You see, our cap is ready and neat. Our cap is neat and ready. What you just do is cut this. This is called Velcro. You can use button, you can use hook and knife, you can use pin, anything you think is at your reach. So I'm using this Velcro, so I cut out like one by like two inches so i'm just gonna sew it down here sew it down here like this and when you're sewing be careful make sure the opposite side that is gonna clip together will be on the on the space that you're sewing <laughs> 